Hi, it's Lisa from Coffee Talk. At the NAMA conference recently, I got to speak with Melanie Sachs about food in Ayurveda and food and beauty in Ayurveda. I think there's, uh, there's two ways to answer that question. One way is to say you can look at what's in traditional texts, like many people do, and discern with the help of a practitioner what their body type is. And then you go to an Ayurvedic cookbook and you see, you know, should I eat um, brown rice or white rice? Should I eat carrots or should I eat peas? And <clears throat> after counseling people for quite a while, I would say, um, I tend to start much more from a Western point of view. Uh, first question, do you know how to cook? Yeah. Second question, would you consider learning if you don't know how? If you do, how much time do you have? Uh, where do you live? What foods are available to you? Uh, I was just telling friends, I was counseling people in Poland <clears throat> years ago, and that had to be the first question. What's available to you? What is available to you? So, <clears throat> other, I would say, when you, when you know those things, I would say gently suggest eat locally, support local farmers, try and eat organically. That's a phenomenal difference. Um, and I would say some of the key things to avoid, commercial meat of any kind, commercial dairy of any kind, and American wheat, and anything with corn, with corn uh, sugar in it, corn syrup in it. I don't even say don't drink coffee anymore. I mean, there's new research that great coffee prepared the right way could actually be healthy. Oh, you heard it here, right? <laughs>